Oh, before I get out of here, let me talk about this Kaepernick situation because there's new information that's been brought to light since the last time I spoke about the Kaepernick situation. So it's a good thing that I left it to last. So um, Colin Kaepernick. The initial waiver that the NFL presented him was okay so this is a strike against the NFL this 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 wasn't the uh, uh the normal waiver that they give players a standard waiver that they give players on Tuesday when they bring players to work out and they, they there's constantly t- players trying out for teams in the NFL his workout was Saturday which is a little irregular but it's clearly a, a, a special type of case because there was word from the NFL and certain reporters that uh Jay-Z had conversations with Roger Goodell to bring in Colin Kaepernick for these workouts. So Jay-Z had some inner work. And so anybody that wanted to talk shit about Jay-Z making money with the NFL and getting mad at Jay-Z for his employment with the NFL, well, not even employment, but his position with the NFL and his partnership needed to, you know, chill on that because he was clearly working for the right causes. So when it comes to that, he, he was working on Colin Kaepernick getting back into the NFL. Colin Kaepernick, didn't want to sign and him him and his team didn't want to sign the initial waiver because there was some wording in there that he wouldn't be able to sue and, and you know continue to pursue his uh his case against the NFL his blackball case because he's clearly been back blackballed they settled for his back payments initially so basically if he signed that waiver anything going forward he wouldn't be able to sue for so that waiver was kind of like a trap for Colin Kaepernick but it was kind of like a trap as in we want to get into I feel like from the NFL's perspective it's like okay you're not we we want to get into business with you we want to give you another chance in our league but we don't want to have to deal with no legal issues with you suing us we don't want to have to deal with any type of loss of revenue because of the the type of antics that you may pr- present uh a team or whatever for me I don't I don't understand their whole antics situation I don't like what is he going to do go out there and and raise uh, awareness to black issues. I don't even understand the problem with that. I don't even think that would cause revenue problems. He can't take a knee because of the new rules. So I don't know what they really think he can do if he gets in, but whatever. The main f- fact is I don't feel like, I feel like it's more of like a war. It's more of a a legal war more than a, I'm trying to get back in the league type of shit because Colin Kaepernick he re- if he really wanted to be just like an employee, because really and truly, if you're an employee for any other job or any other, any other industry, you really go into a job interview and you kind of capitulate to whatever the fuck they want, they want in that interview to try to get that job because you want a job in that or- organization. If you're in any field in life, if you're listening to this right now and you think of your job, you didn't go in and start demanding the field or be like, okay, I want to interview at this time or this place or, you know, setting the terms and then you get your way. It doesn't really work like that generally. So the NFL kind of wanted to have that power and you can't really blame them because most businesses want that power. Colin Kaepernick, if he just showed up to the workout in front of all the 20, the 25 teams instead of the eight teams, signed the waiver, signed his rights to sue them, which is kind of another sticky thing. I can't really just say you should have signed your rights away to sue them because if you, it's a really sticky situation. And for me, I don't feel like you, if you disagree with Colin Kaepernick, you disagree with his approach, you disagree with the way he handled the NFL, I don't feel like you're a sellout or the way they're trying to say Stephen A. Smith ain't black or shit like that because he doesn't agree the way he, I, I feel like that's two separate issues. I feel like Colin Kaepernick getting in the NFL, getting a roster spot, playing quarterback for a team, backup or starting, has nothing to do with the issue of the police brutality and the issues that he raised. I don't feel like he he hasn't spoke about it. He's had all year, all day, every week to go on any platform and speak more awareness or be a, a leader, a vocal leader, but he's a silent leader. He doesn't say anything. So it's like... I don't think they, the the one and the other have anything to do. I think it's just a money thing. I think he just wants to be – I think he wants to play football. I think he wants to be employed by the NFL, and he wants to make millions for playing football. So if you're for that, then you support him, and you could be mad at him for the way he's handled himself because it's like if you want that, you shouldn't. You should have just tried out. You should have just signed the waiver and played for those teams because you're trying to be employed by the company. And I don't think you're wrong for saying that if you're saying that and that's your message. Because really and truly, personally, I don't think I don't think I would have handled it the way Colin Kaepernick handled it. But I'm not in the position in that position to even say that. So 
it's like anybody could sit here and say that. I don't know what's going on in the insides. I feel like Stephen A. Smith has a lot more intel than a lot of people that, you know, discredit him or say anything because he's speaking to both sides. He's speaking to the NFL. He's speaking to Colin Kaepernick's people. So when people get on Stephen A., get at Stephen A. Smith and say he's a sellout, he's an Uncle Tom, he's this, this, and that, it's like, well, he's privy to a little more information, so maybe his stance is a little different than yours or mine. I don't know, but for for the most part, I feel like Colin Kaepernick is not going to get signed to an NFL team. I feel like this this whole switching up the whole venue, switching up the, you know, the time, and you know, showing out and having that post uh, workout speech, I feel like none of that helped his favor. I don't think any team's going to pick him up. There's minimal teams that actually came to see him at that work workout, and from what I'm hearing, they still would want to see more. So it's like. For the short term, I don't think he helped his case. I feel like it's more of like a, a public show so the public could see. That's why he wanted to have the cameras there. The public could see, oh, he's not washed. He could still throw the ball. But from my personal experience in football, playing football, knowing that it's like you're – it's not like basketball. You can't just be the most talented person and just – you know, dominate the games and just have that type of pull because everybody needs to play their part. You can be the best quarterback you want. If you don't have offensive line, offensive linemen blocking for you, then you're not going to get anywhere. You can have, even if you can have the success on the offensive end, like Patrick Mahomes, if your defense isn't holding up on the other side, you're not going to be able to win very many games. Although Patrick Mahomes' offense is ridiculous to the point where he's able to win those games despite his defense. I'm just saying that, it's a it's a team it's a team sport in every essence of the word team sport like every cog has their role in the machine so it's like you have to you know you have to get along with people you have to have a certain message you have to have a certain chemistry especially at that quarterback position being a leader there's a lot more that go there's a lot more that goes into the game than just your actual athletic ability to throw the football that's why a lot of teams are kind of not in on Colin Kaepernick, the backlash, the support, the the fan support, the money reasons. It's like it's bigger than just talent. So for him to even do that to try to show the public he still has talent was pointless because we know you can throw the football. I think he just wanted no doubters, but really and truly, if you wanted that football, if you wanted that position on a roster, you should probably have just, you know, agreed to their terms and services but that's that's it for me for this episode blunt talk with lt episode 54 make sure you all subscribe uh hit that like button leave a comment leave your opinion um shortly i'm gonna start doing this segment where i read comments because i'm starting to get enough comments on the blunt talk with lt page where i can start communicating back because when i'm getting one two comments per month i'm not going to respond <laughs> to, to you know have a video where i'm talking through the comments but now that i'm getting like you know several comments per video i can start responding and making videos responding to your comments so if you guys are engaging and want to be spoken back to or want to have a quick discussion on anything that i discuss um just leave your comments like subscribe share the podcast blunt talk with lt you're